Hello there guys, my name is Coach Star Dogs to Bob, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Hershey Park in Pennsylvania. Now this is a construction update on their new 2020 Bolger and Mabillard Hypercoaster called Candemonium. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family and on social media as well. And for now though guys, let's get into this theme park newsroom update. So Candemonium is the new B&M Hyper set to open in the 2020 season. This is part of their brand new uh, expansion. Uh, this is part of their Chocolate Town area, uh, which will be the brand new entrance area to the theme park. Now of course the whole Chocolate Town has things like uh, a Kisses Fountain, like a, a Reese's like, uh, White Chocolate Fountain kind of thing going on, themed to the White Chocolate. Uh, they've also got different stalls, uh, restaurants, uh, seated areas, they've got a refurbished carousel, uh, they've got many other things as well. And one of the main icons of the new area and the new expansion is the brand new Hypercoaster Candemonium. Now we're going to be sharing with the latest construction from the social media of Hershey Park. Big shout out to Hershey Park for the pictures uh, and being able to use these pictures from their social media. Um, got in contact with the park a couple of days ago and they're really lovely people. It was the same when I got in contact um, with Aftelling with the construction for Max and Moore. It's just really lovely people. Uh, so make sure you go and follow Hershey Park on all their social media. They're really lovely people to talk to. Uh, so let's share with you the latest construction on your screen now. Find out if that image was from their Instagram. Uh, and that is what's happening on site currently with the cold temperatures not keeping those construction teams at bay. Um, so while we are looking at that, I'm just going to give you some stats for those of you who have no idea what this coaster is. So we know it's a B&M Hyper. It'll have a length of 4,636 feet, a height of 210 feet, which makes it a Hyper because it's over 200 foot. Um, a speed of 76 miles per hour and a duration of 2 minutes 26 and one of the main iconic pieces of this attraction is that the ride's three themed trains will be themed after the famous candy pieces so there'll be a train themed to Kisses, a train themed to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and a train themed to the twi uh, Twigglers, the Tweez Twigglers uh, I think it's pronounced. Uh, so one so one of the iconic candies, one of the three iconic candies for each of the different trains. So I feel like that's an iconic touch to the ride. Um, so overall then, I'm really excited about this project. I think this is going to be a fantastic looking roller coaster when it opens. Definitely one of the most underrated coasters of next year. Uh, I think with all the big projects at the other big parks like Orion at Kings Island. Uh, obviously in January you've got the... Um, Obviously, you got the opening date for West Coast Races, which was supposed to be opening uh, this year. However, uh, West Coast Races did open to uh, some people, and they said they've got an official opening date in January for it next year. So that'll be open for to kick off the 2020 season. Obviously, um, you got Jersey Devil, a great adventure in the Six Flags chain. Um, you know, you've got plenty of great underrated investments. Of course, here in the UK, you've got from England to Ten Looper. Poulton's Park, Snow Springs. Um, of course, over in Europe, you've got Fly at Fantasyland. So, you've got a lot of very underrated coasters. Obviously, Power Park, it looks increasingly likely that it won't be an extension to Junker. It'll actually, in fact, be uh, a separate new Gerstar roller coaster at Power Park in Finland. Uh, so, that's an interesting one to talk about. Uh, so, plenty of great big investments going down next year, and I think Candemonium is going to be one of the top ones, but also very underrated with the likes of Orion and things like that. So, uh, overall, then, I'm really excited for this project. I cannot wait for it to get uh, opened and get it all open, get the area open, see the latest construction from that. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update on Candemonium at Hershey Park. Big shout out again to Hershey Park for the pictures, they're brilliant. Uh, for the picture, should we say. Uh, uh, they're brilliant on the social media. Please go and follow them on the social media accounts. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. And also, thank you very much for watching. My name is Coast Shell. Keep it on the Coast Alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.